Al Baldassaro, a former New Hampshire state representative and retired Marine sergeant whose job is to advise Donald Trump on veterans affairs, made some really, really deplorable comments. She is a disgrace for any lie, the lies that she told those mothers about their children that got killed over there in Benghazi. She dropped the ball on over 400 emails requesting backup security. Something's wrong there. I wish they would let the uh, made the documents public on why uh, Anderson was the ambassador. Anderson, you know, because in my mind, I want to think that were they moving guns? Were they doing something there? Why did they? How did they know he was even there? This whole thing disgusts me. Hillary Clinton should be put in the fire line and shot for treason. You know, last night I was partly joking. There's been this chant that they've been using at the RNC where they say, lock her up, lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. And uh, at other times it's guilty, 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 guilty. And uh, I said, it's not like in by the end of the convention, that chant might be kill her, kill her, kill her. Or as somebody else said, string her up, string her up, string her up. And again, I was part, it was, you know, partly being tongue in cheek. Now it appears like not so much. Like, this guy is serious. She should be shot for treason. Now understand something. Everybody knows I am no fan of Hillary Clinton. Type Hillary Clinton into the secular talk search box on YouTube. You're going to get probably over 80% of the videos are me going after her for being too corrupt and being too hawkish and all this stuff. So, take it from somebody who's not a fan. But that goes way too far. Did you hear what he referenced as to why she should be killed? Benghazi and emails. Now, I'm on the record. I said she should be indicted over emails. And goes th through the court proceedings and she should be found guilty. Because, yes, she played loose with classified information. There were hacking attempts. She lied every step of the way. Oh, no, there were no classified... There was no classified information there. There was no top secret information there. It turns out, of course, there was. And by the way, her server that she used, private server, didn't even have uh, the level of security that Gmail would have. So it was wide open. Now, they said, oh, the intent, the intent, the intent. She didn't mean to do it, so it's okay. You want to talk about intent, but you got fucking Chelsea Manning locked up right now. Chelsea Manning, she had no other intent other than to, sh to show the American people what's happening in our name with our tax dollars when we murder civilians. That's what Chelsea Manning's leak was. Hey, look at the U.S. military murdering civilians. So her intent was pure and good, and they said, we don't care about your intent. You leak classified information, you're going to get locked up. Hillary Clinton leaks classif classified information. Mm, no, not that bad. Edward Snowden's still fucking exiled because he cares about the Constitution. How about his intent? Oh, his intent doesn't matter. He just did the wrong thing. Well, Hillary Clinton did the wrong thing. So should there have been an indictment? Should there have been consequences? Absolutely there should have been. Is the punishment for what she did with her fucking emails death? Should she be killed? Should she be shot? As this fucking moron says. No. No, 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 no. You want to talk about Benghazi? Nine investigations. Nine investigations. Many of them led by Republicans. Looked into her exact actions when it came to Benghazi. You know what all the investigations found? She didn't do anything wrong. She didn't do anything wrong. They made up this whole theory. It totally made up. All of it's made up. Oh, they did a stand down order. They wanted to send help, but Hillary and Obama said, No, we will not send help. If you really believe that, you are probably a stupid person. And I mean that. You're probably an idiot and you don't even know it. Like, it's one thing to despise various politicians. I despise all kinds of politicians. It's another thing to think that the, just because you disagree with the politician, uh, they, therefore, when presented with the opportunity to save other Americans, would actively snub that and say, no, what, I want them to die? Is that your fucking argument? Oh, yeah, no, I want them to die. Yeah, they should punishment for what? Like, that, their theories don't make any sense. It's just blind rage and hatred and vitriol. Ah, Hillary Clinton's like a Pavlovian response. Benghazi, ah, anger, mad. Why are you mad? Stand down order. You mean the one that didn't happen and there was no such thing? 
Ah, treason shooter. So look, this is this is the logical consequence of a guy fed a steady diet of Fox News. I mean, this is because every day in, day out, Fox News, Benghazi, 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 stand down order, stand down order, stand down order. Oh my God, they lied. They did this. They did that. What they wanted them to die is the implication in Benghazi. If you keep telling people this over the top horse shit, well, there are enough dumb people out there where they're not nuanced, they're not intelligent, and they'll just be like, I guess that's what happened. So yeah, she should be shot. She should be murdered. And this is the result, man. This is unacceptable. You have to be able to distinguish between a good argument against Hillary Clinton, and there are many. I've made them myself. And just an over-the-top, disgusting, deplorable attack that's based on horseshit that leads to bloodthirsty people saying, Kill her, yeah! Shoot her, bring her in front of a firing squad. This guy should be released. And look, we've spoken about it, man. There are three major exceptions to uh, free expression and free speech. Libel, slander, and direct threats of violence. Should this guy get a knock-knock on the door from Secret Service agents and at least figure out, hey man, what's, what's going on here? Now, he might be able to say, well, I didn't say, hey, we should try and kill you, Hillary Clinton. He just said, oh, she should be brought in front of a firing squad and killed. I mean, he can make an argument. I was implying a trial in the middle. But I don't know how much I believe that. But yeah, this, this kind of rhetoric is unacceptable. And remember, this guy is connected to Donald Trump's campaign. He's in the campaign. He, he advises him on veterans affairs. As Bill Maher said a while ago, and at the time I didn't fucking believe it, or I, you know, it didn't, the line didn't land with me. He said, we gotta wake up, man. The zombies are in the mall. When I see this story, I think, indeed, the zombies are in the mall.